Whatever it is you're trying to do, this just isn't the way to do it. Well, it certainly wasn't my first choice. All I ever wanted to do was be a wonderful mayor to the citizens of Landview and a good wife to all of my husbands. I never wanted to hurt anybody. You haven't hurt anybody yet, so why don't you just put the gun away? Well, that's kind of oversimplifying things. How so? Hands up! This is all your fault. You should never have followed me from the courthouse. If it weren't for you, I would already be on an airplane and you would be in the beloved arms of your Antonio. Because I know something you don't know. Oh, yeah, what's that? Why do you think I was in such a hurry to come from the courthouse? I heard you and Nora talking in the ladies' room about how Bo was going to be coming back from Boston. And I knew he was going to come back. Is it true? Now, I have to call for a car to come get me. And if you say a word, I will splatter your brains all over the mirror. I really don't want to hurt anybody. Hello, this is Alex Olenoff, Hester Buchanan, and I'm at the strip mall on the corner of Wilkinson. Yes. I, I need you to send a car. My, my, my batteries went dead. I hope they heard me. Oh, look, I'm sure they heard you. I'm sure everything's fine. Why don't we just let's get back to the story? Because you know what? I really, I really want to hear it. I bet you do. And you know, I've been wanting to tell somebody the story. So where should I start? Why don't you just start wherever you like? It's your story. Well, the beginning of the end was what really should have been the beginning of the beginning. It was when Carlo and I were to get married on the yacht. And it was so beautiful, you really should have seen it. Carlo was as ecstatic as he was furious when Asa showed up out of nowhere and just ripped my lovely white wedding dress right off of me to expose the fact that I was carrying a pillow instead of his child. I had lied to Carlo. I had to. I, I, I did it for him. Sure, sure. I didn't want Carlo to be disappointed. Because, well, disappointing Carlo was a bad idea in general. Oh, yeah, 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 I understand. <laughs> so, well, I thought he'd never forgive me. And then all of a sudden, a miracle happened. He called me and started talking about reconciliation. So you and, and Carlo, you patched things up? No. He just wanted me to think that we had. That's the point of the whole story. Aren't you paying attention to me? He asked me to come to the party on the Orion and play the part of a rejected lover so that no one would think that we were actually reunited with one another. And so, well, I went there and... Oh, I just gave the performance of my life. Weeping, groveling, crying, begging for Carlo to take me back. Well, I'm sorry if the story is boring you. No, actually, you know, I, I'm really, really interested in this, but I, I'd, I'd feel a lot more comfortable if you would just put the gun away. Well, I feel a lot more comfortable with the gun right where it is. So, where was I? The performance. Right. Well, I was so convinced. And, you see, Carlo knew that Bo and Hank were about to arrest him for all the nasty business on the Poseidon. So he had already planned his escape from the Orion. And he'd taken all of his money and put it in accounts down in the Grand Caymans. Uh, the Cayman Islands? Mm -hmm. That's where he and I were supposed to begin our life of romantic bliss. But it was all a lie. He was setting me up for the ultimate humiliation. He... Well, I, I let him give me this phony annulment. I thought it was a phony annulment. Mm -hmm. And then I was supposed to go meet him at the airport. So I called ahead from my limousine. 
And this nice man on the other end of the line, he said, there aren't any flights to the Grand Caymans tonight. There aren't any reservations in your name or Carlos. There were no reservations. That was terrible for you. And the worst part, wasn't that I was going to be the laughing stock of Landview and Penny worst part was that I was going to be left alone without my Carla. After I called the airport, I sat in my limo for the longest time, trying to figure out what Carla had really done. I couldn't believe it. Had I misunderstood? So I wanted to see him for one last time to be sure. So I had my driver drop me off at home, and then I got in my own car and drove back to the Orion. And as I went up the gangplank, out over the water, I heard an approaching speedboat. I had no idea what I was doing. It was as if I was possessed by another Alex. All I wanted to do was talk to him. But ever since, I'd found out that Carlo had betrayed me. Well, this other Alex had passed sentence on the man that I loved and executed it. That Alex sped off into the night. I hardly remember any of this. And now what am I left with? Nothing. But you, you did try to get that money that Carla brought out of the country, though, didn't you? That was his brother, Mortimer. He has a very shy brother named Mortimer who became suddenly obsessed with Carlo's money and said he was going to turn me over to the police if I didn't hand the money over to him. But the problem was I did not know where the money was. So I went to RJ and RJ was supposed to try to help me find it and he was no help whatsoever. But in, in the meanwhile, you just figured it might well be easier to let Antonio take the blame for it, right? No. I always liked Antonio. I did everything I could to point the police toward RJ. I planted the ring and the safe. I planted the feather from that costume in Rio. So that, that was you in that bird costume with the gun? No, it was someone I hired. It was very tacky. I had no choice. Mortimer was not going to keep my little secret if he got to the money before I did, which is exactly what happened. He took every penny of the money and put it into Swiss bank accounts. Life is so unfair sometimes, isn't it? Mortimer should have kept quiet. I mean, he's not just an innocent bystander in this whole thing. But somehow, Bo figured it out. Mortimer, you double crossed me. You shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have moved anybody from Rio to Switzerland. I only blackmail you, Alex, before you could blackmail me. How can you say such a thing? All right, Alex. On the basis of your conversation, I can assume that you and Mr. Byrne well acquainted. So, are you willing to cooperate his story that you killed Carlo? Uh, all I have to say is that I have nothing to say, and I am not going to let the commissioner and the district attorney force me into some kind of a confession. Hank, she confessed to the whole thing step by step while holding a police detective as a hostage. I will testify to that, and I will love every minute of it. Well, guess what, Hank? We got a lot to do, don't we? Oh. Sooner, better than later. Go get these processed, and I'll be right with you. I forgive you. You betrayed me, but we don't have time to think about that now. Oh, Mortimer, remember the wonderful times we had together. Those long nights when I taught you the art of love. You were a Wonderful. You are as wonderful as your brother, if not better. And we could have all that back again if you just find a way to pay my bail 
and get the money out of the Swiss banks before the police do. And then we can fly off together. And we can be together, just the two of us. Forever. like that, uh, doing something illegal, and, 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 and then running like a hunted animal for the rest of my life. It, 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 oh, us being together wouldn't make it worthwhile? Actually, I, I don't think so. I, it, I just want to go back to what I love. My work with Egyptian artifacts, and doing my research. For how long? Till everybody buys your story? For all anyone knows, you are really Carlo. With secret bank accounts in Panama and Thailand. Excuse me. Remember, I am the only one that can tell you and your brother apart. Yes. But uh, you're, 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 go you're going to prison for the rest of your life, Alex. And I don't believe they permit conjugal visits. Okay. Come on. Let's go. You'll never get away with this. You'll never get away with this.